All right, today we're going to talk about printing images as 8x10s for output to a service bureau. A service bureau can be Walgreens, it can be Costco, it can be light jet printing, which is the same as type C or chromogenic printing. That's the light sensitive process that goes through chemistry, which is done at um, places like Walgreens or a pro photo lab. Um, you can also send your print to an inkjet printer, but that's a different process. So today we're talking about sending your print to a service bureau for chromogenic or light jet printing. So the first thing that you want to do is um, run your image through the development module for the desired result. It's best, of course, if your monitor is calibrated. Check your histogram to make sure you have the desired highlight and shadow areas. Your histogram should be stretched out so that pretty much the blacks are near the left-hand side and the lights are near the right-hand side. After everything is complete in the develop module, including any of the panels that you want to explore, print module, and then you're going to choose one 8x10, and that's a template that sh is shipped with Lightroom. Um, so it should automatically re resize your image to 8x10. Now, you, if you choose that, notice that your image is cropped. You may not want your image cropped. I ask my students actually to not crop their images, in which case I would choose maximum size. Um, you see that here it creates kind of a funny um, instance where you don't have any border at the top. We can um, adjust that in just a moment. Um, so over here on the right hand side, I'm going to move forward into layout style as a single image. Rotate to fit is good. You can add a little stroke if you want around the image. However, I recommend you leave that off. In the layout area, you can modify the margin slightly if you want. Now here's where you might modify them a little bit so you, that you have more of a border, which I think is more attractive, and it's better for when you actually go to mat or over mat the print. We're still keeping the full frame of the image. Um, this stuff we're going to go ahead and skip. We can see that we have a 9.5 by 8 image, so this image is slightly cropped. Um, I cropped it before we began this exercise. A full frame image is going to be more like probably a 7 by um, 9 or something like that. So you might see a bit of an odd size here and that's pretty normal in order to get a full frame image. Some students like to put a watermark over their picture um, using the copyright. I recommend you leave it off. What I do like my students to do, however, is include the exposure information down at the bottom. Um, not for the final project, but for the creative projects leading up to the final. That way you can share your exposure information with your class. For output, we're going to do what's called printing to a JPEG file. The resolution for a light jet print ideally is 300. Our print sharpening can be on standard. You can choose between a glossy or a matte. The most common type of surface for a light jet print is glossy, unless you have a service bureau that's willing to do matte for you, and you should check with them. Now, the JPEG quality really depends on if you're uploading the image to the web or you're bringing it in in person. If you upload the image to the web, you're going to find that your file size is a lot smaller, smaller if you have a JPEG quality of 80 and you really will not see much of a difference in quality between the compression 80 and the compression 100. Um, if you'd like to test it, do a comparison for yourself and see if you can see a difference. Make sure that the custom file dimension is checked. If it's not checked, um, it defaults to letter size or 8.5 by 11. You want to make sure this is 8 by 10 because as you know, um, a full size 8 by 10 image is in reality 8 by 10. Color management, if you know the profile, for example, if you're going to Costco, you can load the color profile. If you're going to a lower end service bureau like a Walgreens or a pharmacy, choose sRGB. When this is all selected, you're okay to go ahead and choose print to profile. You're going to come, it's going to 
generate a, a JPEG file that looks exactly like this with the white borders. You're going to choose where you want to save it. I like to save it in my file structure in a folder called to print. And I'm going to call this final one in my last name, Gentry. And it's up here, you can see it's generating or rendering a JPEG image. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And you can see that in my to print folder, it went ahead and generated approximately a two megabyte image. And I can see that in preview. You can upload that now online to the Service Bureau or you can take it in. You might want to note that when you print from a beautiful backlit display to an, um, a reflective sheet of paper, you're probably going to get darker information in the blacks, in the three-quarter tones. Three-quarter tones are those tones that are um, black with detail or dark gray tones. So you might want to lighten that up a bit. I also recommend you print early before the assignment is due in case you need to go back, do more adjustments in Lightroom, and do a reprint. That's it. For more videos or information, you can visit the education blog at www.ericagentry.wordpress.com. Thank you so much.